All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is a very special day on the channel because I get to showcase to you some awesome, amazing gameplay of the brand new G.I. Joe Wrath of Cobra beat em up retro arcade style video game from Maple Powered Games and Hasbro. Super excited about this. Ever since I saw the trailer for it, I was like, oh my goodness, finally it's happening. I've always said this needed to happen back in the day of the 80s and 90s, the arcade era, if you will. It was a wonder to me that we didn't get a side scroll and beat em up specifically for G.I. Joe because it just seems like low hanging fruit. Two genres that would fit perfectly together and finally it has happened. Super excited to talk about this and showcase this. We're going to play two levels. Uh, we have two playable characters. This is going to be an Xbox demo. This is an early build so keep that in mind. Um, there will be of course more levels and more selectable playable characters in the full release when this hits retail stores but I'm excited to showcase to you some early gameplay footage get my first impressions of it because like I said, huge G.I. Joe fan, if you couldn't tell already, huge fan of the beat-em-ups in general. So anxious to check this out. We'll be playing this on an Xbox, but keep in mind it will come out in various different consoles and platforms uh, when it is officially released. So enough talking about it. Let's get into the gameplay, shall we? All right, let's get this party started. Got my controller plugged in, hit start. Let's go straight into story mode. Easy, normal, hard, and possible. We'll just start things off easy because I don't know what I'm getting into and I didn't bother to uh, read the instructions on how to play the game. We're just gonna go for it. So like I said, we got Duke and Scarlet, selectable characters. As you can see, they got different attributes there. Duke's kind of well-rounded. Uh, Scarlet definitely is a speedster there. She's maxed out on her speed. We'll just uh, start with good old Duke. And we'll see if we can figure out these controls along the way. All right two levels, so we got a sky full of snakes and madness in the mountains, we'll just start with this. So it's time to gear up and take the flight of... Uh, I'll let you read that, there's no... You don't need me to read it to you. Alright, start, oh my. Quite the battle going on in the background there. Spotlights, explosions, jets just flying back there, cobra Alright, got some cobra energy right out of the gate. So we punch. Combo going, happening multiple times. Look, he's he's sleeping, and that keeps. And now he's up, down for the count. I love how they drop wrenches and screwdrivers. Got some jetpack guys coming in. Can we do a dash? Yep. Looks like we do a dash attack. Double, double tap in our direction, and then hitting our attack button. Ooh, we got a gun. Uh, just, just like the cartoon, classic lasers. I love it. Pretty good job with the reflection on the, the floor there. That's a nice touch. Oh, and he threw the rifle. That's awesome. When you run out of ammo, it just you know, throws it as a projectile. That's great. And I'm assuming I can. He answered that question for me. I like Yeah, I'm assuming if I step in one of these holes, I'll uh, fall and you know lose some health and. Thank goodness that uh, Groper Infantry guy uh, answered that question for me. Big the music too. Really, really enjoying this. Oh, look at that combo. Just socking sock the robots there. Bouncing. Bouncing my knuckles off that guy's chin. Alright, moving on. Ooh, what do we got? Mystery item? Health? Didn't really need much, but I'll take it. One hit. Little gun. More jetpack guys coming in. Alright, little jump attack. Oh, you can pick up the bodies! You can pick up the bodies and use them as a projectile. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Alright. Oh, we got two more shots. Tells us how many bullets we got or how many shots we have left in our little gun there. Yep, get five shots and then it turns into a projectile. Pick up these floppy disks. It's an old school game back in the day when a floppy disk was enough to take over a computer and you know, begin world domination. Oh man, I love these guys. Oh, found the special. All right, that is the airstrike special move for Duke. Let's see if we can pick up another guy. No, he woke up too soon. I love that they bounce off the wall so you can kind of like, you know, keep parrying them, 
keep a combo going. Just kind of ricocheting them off each other as well as the walls. More jetpack guys coming in. Got the rifle. Got some that toxic waste on there. Ooh, these guys are tough. Oh, there we go. I found the heavy attack. All right, so we have a, a light attack, just normal punch that you combo, and then we got a heavy attack with a, you know a big boot, big boot to the chest there. And as you can see, it it's like twice the damage. So uh, my normal punch is it's like a ten there, and the, the heavy attack is a twenty, except for when these guys are blocking. These guys just keep coming. So infantry soldiers. What? Okay, big door. Oh, it's a hiss tank! <laughs> okay, you want to talk about being uh, outgunned here? I'm having a hand to hand combat fight with a hiss tank. And I'm getting lit up with those lasers. Oh, this is gonna take some like ducking and dodging and diving out of the way as I'm getting prison guard stabbed there. Out here with our, what look like you know, big butter knives poking me. And I'm already dead, died once, and this is the easy mode, so that says something. I mean, it says something about skills, but I digress. Really, really music in this game. Alright. Okay, get in there. Oh. So I just keyed in on the fact that the infantry soldier, once he raises his arm, he basically tells you, hey, I'm going to shoot you with a laser, so get out of the way. And of course, right as I tried to jump out of the way, I jumped into it. There we go. His tank down. Look at all those floppy disks. Let's get those. So that was pretty sweet. I mean, where else are you going to get to fight a his tank hand to hand? Zuka guys. Let's pick him up. Yep. Chuck him over there. Ah, oh, just a little short. Diving kick. Oh, okay, I just took a projectile missile and I just kicked it. There we go. Pick him up. Throw him down. Man, I'm just missing, missing the target there with the the body throws. I'm guessing those floppy disks will come into play later on because I picked up a ton of them, nothing really is happening, so I'm guessing that's like a bonus or something at the end of the stage. Nice. I love how they all. Oh, Crimson Guard! Nice! I mean. Not nice for me, because I imagine they're... Oh, yep, I was getting ready to say, I imagine they're going to be a little more tricky to deal with, and here they are trying to, like, teleport. Go, bust up these Cobra computers. Wouldn't be a beat em up game if you couldn't destroy the, you know, the background. Ooh, a different gun. What does this one do? Nice. Very cool. Yeah, I don't need the health. Needed it earlier, but don't need it now. Oh, sweet. Locks him in place. He gets zapped and kind of froze there. That's helpful. I like the variety of the weapons we've got so far. I got the rifle, I got that little freeze. Uh, you throw the troopers themselves. That's awesome. That's good. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's the best way to beat any of these bad guys. You just pick them up and chuck them. I can't get that box. What's in this one? Ooh, another gun. Yep. Get on the side. Get on the side. Yeah. <laughs> you can use the guns against them. That's awesome. Hey, come on, guy. Walk down here. Okay, he's too smart for that. And I say that, he just got lit up. He just got lit up. Shot with that laser. Alright, I'll, I'll be nice. It's like shoots grenade launchers, but they don't really launch too far. <laughs> These guns get out of here. Rifle. Move forward. Alright. Oh, more lasers. Hey, that's all you have to do. You just jump on that side. 
you let them uh, do a little Operation Human Shield there, and they just they just walk into the fire. Oops! Try to shoot around the laser. Got greedy. Just my childhood in a nutshell. I love this already. <laughs> I love this so much. This this is the game that should have existed when I was a kid in the arcades. Your Ninja Turtles arcade, your X Men arcade, all those side scrolling beat em ups back then. This this would have been absolutely perfect. To have back then. I would, I would just I would put so many quarters in this thing. I've been broke for sure. I've been dig, digging the couch cushions, trying to mow everybody's neighborhood yards, trying to get some, you know, money to put in this machine if it existed back then. Oh, looking like a boss. Ooh, the Baroness. Alright. Yeah, of course she comes out and has shoot me with a gun. Hold on that airstrike. Oh, okay, geez. She just called in all sorts of friends to help her out. And I'm getting shot from behind. These infantry goons don't want to let me spoil the party here. Oh, wow. That was quite the tornado of attack there. Oh, airstrike, airstrike. Nope, I, I don't want you coming out there with dual dual wielding guns there, Baroness. You put those back. Oh man. Down two lives. This is terrible. Three lives and I'm not even gonna beat the boss. There we go. Got her stuck. They're trapped in the corner. Look at that combo! Look at that combo! Airstrike! Get that guy away from me! Yep, there we go! That's what, that's what I'm talking about! Yo, Joe! Stage clear! Alright! Okay, so that's the end of that level. So uh, let's go to Scarlet and let's play the other. Scarlet. We'll play the other level and see what we got. See how, how differently she plays compared to old Duke. Madness in the Mountains. Great background. Artwork on that is just phenomenal. Alright, got some rain. Artwork on this is fantastic. I mean, just, you got your you know, your, your background art, your foreground, you got your effects going on with the weather and the shadows and the details, both like I said, we have the reflection on Duke. You now we got the shadow here. Oh, okay. She's got like a jumping uh, bow attack there. She shoots down a projectile. Let's see her heavy. Ha! Huh. Nice. She's got like a somersault. Somersault back. Flip kick a la Street Fighter 2 Guile um, as her heavy attack. Which looks like she can pick people up as well. Pick up this rifle. Uh oh. Oh, okay, we got dynamite tossing bad guys. That's helpful. Then I'll throw them. I'll punch them around. More good music. There we go. Good combo. I can I can see her speed. I mean, she plays so much quicker than Duke, and I can see how you could build some heavy-handed combos with her pretty quickly, especially with the range on that like back flipping. Oh, I should have picked the health up first. Well, that's my bad. So you can't pick up the health apparently once you have a, a gun in hand, which I guess makes sense. Your hands are full already. But yeah, I can see 
see how Scarlet would be an easy person to build up some combos with her speed and the range. As I walk right into that attack. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Took out all four people with that heavy somersault kick of hers. Do it. Oh, nice. Do a heavy dash attack. It's like a little spiral drop kick. That thing's got some distance on it, too. Really digging Scarlet. What's in the mystery box? Okay, health that I needed earlier. More bad guys. Let's see what her special is. Oh, nice. A little airstrike type of thing, kind of like Duke, but different because it shoots down uh, those bolts from a crossbow that throws everybody in space. That was awesome. Makes it great for. Kind of slowly dismantling everybody around you if you're crowded, which in that scenario it definitely was. It's a good way to, especially in a tag team situation. Oh crap! He's gonna be a problem. Yep. <laughs> I love that he beat up his own guys though. Thank you, killer robot. I, I say that and he's just like bouncing me off the ground. Punch, when he gets his arms up, get out of the way, I say that, and of course I didn't get out of the way. Play the distance game. Bullets here. Bullets. Lasers. <laughs> I love the throwing of the gun. There we go. Got him taken care of. And I almost walked off. Whew, that was close. Literally got right to the edge there, and then realized, oh wait, I'm walking into nothing. Oh. Gosh, kicks. There we go. Cleaning house, Scarlet. Oh, what? I totally got that guy. Comboing him up, and somehow he's just like got me shot in the face. Another special attack. To oh, that guy apparently didn't get hit. Ooh, new gun! Sonic firing weapon. What is this? Oh, it's like a special. A little invincibility, I'm guessing. I don't know, but I'm moving. I'm moving crazy fast. Oh, it wore off. So yeah, I guess that was like a short-lived special invincible, maybe kind of thing. Oh, there we go. Crossbow is kicking butt. Look at those guys up fast. Right on time. There's like eight guys. So far, I, even as this is like a you know like an early build, I haven't even noticed uh, like slowdowns with multiple enemies on screen. That was like eight guys on screen at the time. And there's no sputtering or issues. I didn't hear any like glitches in the sound, so that was cool. I mean, I know it's a retro game, but clearly it's got some uh, power behind it. Again, we got lots of people on screen. We got Crimson Guard teleporting back and forth. So there's a lot going on here. Yep. Right, moving on. Oh, I thought I was going to get a rifle there. Help me out. Just carry him around. Perfect. Finally. Figured out the range on the, the human projectiles. There it is. That's 
That's the boomstick. <laughs> and he bounces off the wall again. I love it. All right, we'll stick with this. I got a couple, a couple good shots with this. One, two, and go. Get surrounded. I don't want to use my special attack dust yet. I want to save it because I feel like I'm getting close to the boss. Gotta be anyway. Look at all these discs. Floppy discs. <laughs> Nothing says retro like a, a three and a half inch floppy disc. There we go. Ooh, Dr. Mindbender. Always one of my favorite G.I. Joe bad guys. Alright, oh, he's got a boomstick too. That's not good for me. Let's call in the airstrike. Call it an airstrike, it's really just hurt. Oh crap! You multiplied! Okay. I gotta figure out the timing on him. And as soon as I say that, he, he multiplies, which further. Alright, so clearly you hit the, the multiple and they disappear on him. Alright, he does kind of give you a little heads up of when he's got fire. This looks like I can get a couple of heavy attacks in. Four. There we go. Alright, I got this figured out. Let's save that right as I get shot. And of course, he's gonna change it up, because that's that's how bad guys do. I was talking smack about how I figured out a pattern, and my timing's off now. He's tough. A couple more hits. There we go. Got him. All right. That's it. That was fun. Uh, like I said, Scarlet's definitely uh, cleaning house with the range on that somersault backflip kick she's got there. Uh, Duke, solid player. Uh, definitely anxious to check out more levels and. Uh, more playable characters when this gets released, but I gotta say, initial impressions are great, man. This thing was super fun to play. Like I said, I, I feel like a kid again, immediately just, you know, flash back in time. This this was a, a great experience. Okay, that was a lot of fun to play. Like I said, I'm, I'm a huge fan of G.I. Joe and the genre beat-em-ups for general, but like, that was it. Like, that was in my mind's eye what I had always hoped and dreamed of, of a G.I. Joe's high-scrolling beat-em-up arcade game. Like, that was it, to a T. And now it's got modernized, uh, updated things. So you got multiple, you know, besides just jump and attack, you've got, you know, your your low attack, your high attack, your combos. You've got, you know, dashing attacks. You can combo your dash with your high and low attacks. you got a special attack. Every one of them is unique. Each attribute for the character is unique. Uh, great level design, aesthetics. I mean, it looks like the classic Hasbro G.I. Joe, you know, that we all know and love. So, gotta say, my hat is off to you guys. You guys did a phenomenal job on this. Uh, thank you so much to Maple Powered Games and Hasbro for letting me check this out. Guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think of this game? Are you interested in it? Do you like beat em ups? Do you like G.I. Joe? Is this something that you're interested in? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button. Share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot. Yo, Joe! <laughs>